potentially some great star potential there though how are we doing whoa can i go for the perfect era i mean we might as well Welcome back to Humankind Game. In case you missed last time, the setup for this episode, I started in the Neolithic era, moved my way through into the Assyrians. A somewhat unusual pick, but take a look at that Danu district, which is providing me influence, and that is crucial. What's more crucial is the fact that we spawned in a territory with basically every single luxury resource called Die in the game, which is giving all of my cities an incredible industry boost. My task for this episode, is to see if I can pick up the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, no, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, maybe fight a couple of dudes, and eventually, hopefully, make it out of the ancient era. This is a real whomper of an episode. I'll stop my gas bagging and let you jump straight in and pick up where we left off fighting an independent tribe. God help me. Oh yes, and this battle is underway. I have to try and bait this unit out, I think. So I'm going to run back onto this river tile where they will fight me for sure. Nice. Really? You just want to fight me once? Okay, that's it. Scout. Be bait. How dare you. <laughs> oh my goodness, I earned an expansionist star. Oh look, and this unit's going to come out here and let me fight it next turn. Thank you kindly. This city is looking a little bit suspicious. Potentially some great star potential there, though. How are we doing? Can I go for the perfect era? We might as well. Our influence generation is so high. I reckon I can go for gold. Let's try it. We've, we've managed to play a game that is accidentally, basically stretching across every aspect of humankind, from expansionism to uh, agrarianship to technologies. Look, we're just about to finish the era, actually, so we're <laughs> going to need to move kind of soon. I just don't want to. Uh, oh my, hey, it's Jumbo from the future here, just really quickly warning you and letting you know that this is the exact moment where I discover that the Hanging Gardens of Babylon are gonna be super useful. Brace yourself. Whoa, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon haven't been claimed, oh my god, I take it. Whew, sorry, but that is a ridiculous claim. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon are gonna be OP, OP, OP because we have the dies. We have seven dies. So we can go from getting uh, not just plus 35 industry on all cities, but also plus 35 percent industry on all cities. And collectively now over a hundred stability. <sighs> that is insane. We have to get every city working on that right now. Um, let's actually just take a look. So at the moment, Asura is on 151 industry. Okay, good to note. Let's get the whole gang on this. It's only going to take us two turns. Let's see what impact it has while I do a few skirmishes around these borders as well, probably. Oh, actually, we could fight you. Uh, better not. Get back and defend this archer. Oh, the redeploy. This is going to be quite a battle, actually. We should get our military stars out of this bad boy. <laughs> Just a little bit concerned about this enemy chariot that's, yeah, going to run at my archer and do a heck load of damage. Need to try and take that out this turn. Oh, it doesn't matter. The archer's being flanked from all sides. Okay, let's try and reconvene these forces on this flag. There's an archer destroyed. I'd love to take out that chariot, but we might just step this way and then stab it. Nice. Okay. Um, I mean, I moved on to this flag, but I sort of regret it, actually. I'll just hold it for now. Oh my goodness, say it ain't so. These poor independent people. <laughs> oh... Feels bad, man. We might even have to ransack this one, actually, because I'm way over my city cap now. And there we have it. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon have been completed on turn 39 in a fast game, right? So we're maybe, I don't know, what, a fifth or a quarter of the way through, somewhere between there. Have a look at what it's done in the capital alone. Absolutely fantastic. We got a bonus nearly 50% extra industry from building that but of course it's on all cities all cities are now getting plus 35 percent industry thanks to that wamper of a hanging gardens and take a look around i mean they don't even have market quarters uh makers quarters and they're away laughing but you know what they're about to be away laughing even more because i reckon if we start focusing now on spending our influence on attaching territories instead of claiming them except for this one which is a slight exception because it's an absolute insane territory not only does it have a mega fast outpost but also it's got Ha Long Bay so we will get more influence from it over time definitely worthwhile
And as I say, I will actually ransack this one with my Assyrian Raiders. <laughs> just gonna get rid of the city. <laughs> we don't need that. We, we, we'll take the territory, but we don't need that city. We're far too over our city cap at the minute. Yeah, come on. Come out of those walls, you pesky... There we go. <laughs> Wrecked. And I reckon this could almost be the final era of this perfect era. What I have to do is try and get my expansionist stars done, which generally means attaching territories, right? So we can attach this one up to Asur. That's its third. Ninua really needs this one, actually, which we don't have connected. So we might have to come back to that. A card can grab its third, and it should probably jump up there. There's an expansionist star. I don't think it's our gold one, though. We need to attach three more territories to have the perfect era, and now I can't help but focus on anything but doing that. It's very expensive for a sir to do it, though, so we m it probably actually would pay off to grab this territory. So let's just hone this dude this way. And very quickly grab that on that trade post oh actually i forgot about the city over here as well okay this changes things a bit too because now if also if we can establish a territory here we'll be able to attach the first one up to the city there's a lovely cheap attach there brilliant any oh how dare you starting to claim my land or at least what i consider to be my land which is a little awkward I guess I am an expansionist, though. So, maybe we should give our expansionist ability a go. <laughs> Let's do it. I would really love this territory. Uh, and surely I have some armies nearby who can come in and help defend it. Yeah, I do. Actually, we should do it with our Assyrian Raiders uh, just all around is a very good idea because they uh, really like to pillage and ransack. So let's use our expansionist ability we have a non-aggression pact, which we have to cancel. It's a little bit awkward. It's really quite awkward, actually. <sighs> just going to break our non-aggression pact. Sorry, mate. Um, I just really want to use my expansionist ability and take this tile. Maybe it needs a turn just to think about the fact that we're tolerating skirmishes now. <laughs> break those open borders, too. I don't want open borders with you. Not sure why I accepted that in the first place. Cool. All right. So we're expansionist thing away. We're going to take that territory as our own, which is great. Uh, in the meantime, let's send these units in to cover and these units up here to claim. Jump straight into this valley. Hoover up that insta territory. Ooh, we are one turn away. How good. We actually tolerate skirmishes, so we could actually fight them there. I might just hold this, though. Because where there's a will, there's a way. And where there's a way, we're about to do this, baby. Boom! What the heck? Has anybody seen an Assyrian run like this? It's all gold, baby. And that will wrap up this episode. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. This will be an edited playthrough. Obviously, you've given that by now. If you want to see me continue this, I'm more than happy to. I'm going to save it here and not record any more because I want you to know that I want to know what you think. What should I do next? Should we stay as the Assyrians and transcend through the whole game as the Assyrians? Shall we stick with the expansionist theme? Shall I go for gold in every era? I don't think I'm going to have time to do that because it's fast speed. Let me know what you think. Either way, this is an awesome start and I'll catch you in the next one.